Hey guys, how's it going? On today's video, we're going to go over my new 1991 325iX Touring. Hopefully this won't be a voiceover, it is very windy today unfortunately. This will probably be the last personal E30 I own. Uh, I got my coupe and then I've been after an iX Touring for a while now. Um, the only reason I would get a convertible would be if my girlfriend wants one, but other than that, here it is. I got very lucky and found it uh, local in California in Thousand Oaks. So it wasn't too far away. Um, I had looked at a few overseas, but you know, it's always very hard to trust someone to one, either buy from or two, well, that's the, the biggest thing but also then pay for shipping, import fees, and then trying to get it registered in California. Now, I was very lucky, and the reason I kind of just like went ahead and pulled the trigger, even though I shouldn't have, is the car came from Colorado. So, it had already, Colorado has strict emission laws like California, and this car had already been converted to, for smog. So, I took a chance, um, everything looked correct, so I took it to the smog place, and it passed uh, first try. So I was very lucky. This is now a California car. Uh, it does have some rust here and there um, on the fender. There's some on the cowl, a little bit worse on that side. That other fender's been passenger fender's been replaced, but I'm not really too worried about that. Um, there might be a little hole in the frame rail. But, you know, all like the major ones, like the rust on the tailgate, there seems to be not a lot, or at least it was, you know, someone tried to cover it up and patch it a little bit. But overall, it's super clean, and I'm stoked. It's just a nice daily driver. Um, as you can see, this is where a majority of the bad rust is. Now, that's going to be bad, and then when I pull the carpet, I will see how much rust is on the firewall, because that's a typical spot, but... It came with a set of bottle caps, and then it, it came on a set of bottle caps, but then it came with a set of 15-inch basket weaves, uh, IX specific. So I threw those on, and for the video, those will be for sale. As much as I love basket weaves, I just I hate that center cap, knowing that one day it will fall off. So this car will get some other wheels, but uh, before I start going through saying everything I'm going to sell, here's the interior. Power front windows, heated cloth front seats in really great shape. The gray is pretty cool. Obviously, I would have wanted a like design edition interior, but didn't come on that. Uh, there is, it's almost crack free. There's a little crack right there. The gauge clusters in kilometers, which is a little annoying, in liters. So is the check panel. This car was originally from uh, Switzerland. And then it was imported to, I think, Virginia, and, um, and then it went to Colorado. Uh, manual crank rear windows, that will have to go. We'll be converting to power. Um, and then the rear seat's pretty cool. Like, I get why BMW did it, but I also don't get it. So you got to take the headrest off. You fold this up like this, and then you fold this down. So I guess there's like a backing against the rear seat or the front seat but like it takes up so much room they should just have just like folded down in my opinion but bmw knows what they're doing it had a small little uh basket on it for the roof rack uh i didn't like the way it looked it was fun to get to costco filled the whole back up and then filled the, the little basket up so uh i took that off i thought just the two bars look good for right now but overall it is uh pretty pretty good it's a really great just like daily driver honestly before i start messing with it um it's missing the partition that comes across and then it covers the trunk i already ordered one of those that should be here any day now but um we're missing some of the toolkit stuff um i am gonna include i took it to socal vintage so if you saw me there said hello or you probably saw the wagon there and didn't realize it was me but um wagon was there so this video is coming out after and i will include some of the socal vintage stuff on here as well but uh 
I've just been enjoying driving it. I have major plans for it as usual. Um, the underside will get a full resto. The outside eventually will get a full paint job. As you can see, red right there. Don't look too close. But uh, yeah, so wheels are for sale. The headlights will be for sale. Um, someone posted in the Facebook groups about doing MTech 2 uh, with the IX flares. So like, I guess they cut like right here and then did the door pods with the front and rear bumpers. So I might sell off the uh, valence, the front and rear bumper, and then just uh, rock an MTech 2 kit for a little bit. Obviously, I always like to recoup as much money back before I start building a project. Um, front seats will most likely be for sale at some point. Once I send the interior out, I'm gonna swap to coupe seats uh, just so like the rear is more usable so I can fold it forward. It's kind of dumb, but I have, I have a vision for it. Or I'll go fix back, I don't, I'm not really sure yet. Most likely still keep it uh, like factory E30. We're gonna need to upgrade the stereo system because that old Kenwood unit, it's gotta go. It works great for what it is, but new speakers, we're gonna need to add tweeters in the front here um, and then figure out a place to put a sub. So I'm gonna have to talk to E30 Dreamin on, I'm making something cool for the touring. And yeah, so it is a slick top, which I was normally, 99.9% .9 of the time, I want a slick top. I don't like sunroofs. They're annoying, they're always rusty. That's not true, they're not always rusty, but there's always a point of rust that can happen, they could leak. This is the only car that I actually wanted a sunroof with, with, with eventually you'll see why, but uh, it doesn't have one, so that's a little bit of a bummer. We're gonna need to change the exhaust, because uh, it's too quiet put a cat uh, axle back since it does have a cat and it passes no problem underside will get a full resto it is a five speed which is awesome and that antenna eventually has to go because i hate the look of that i know a lot of the e30 m3s have it and a lot of people like it don't know why i think it's like a very odd piece i want to do a nice long uh roof rack uh the one that like kind of folds open and uh I think that'll be very slick with the car and more useful than the little basket that was in it but you know it's not a perfect car by any means and obviously the more i take it apart the more i'm gonna find and not be happy with i think there's a little tiny hole in the passenger frame rail as well uh, from rust so that will be fun to deal with but we'll go ahead and reinforce all that and add a skid plate to the bottom so um, that'll be good to go would love to get some coilovers on here drop it a little bit i know you can only go so far in the front so we'll have to work on uh, fitment uh, i do have a set of ix kws that are coming for a customer's car so once those are installed and you guys will get a video on that if i like those i'll probably order another set for this uh, depending on if they if they fit my application, if that makes sense, yeah. I'm just enjoying it. It's nice to have a running and driving car that just, you know, starts and goes, no headache. Of course, I'm gonna end up making it a headache. Not, not crazy, like my IS. This car will be very, very OEM plus, 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 plus. Uh, um, I would love it to be a SEMA car for next year. I got some crazy ideas. I kind of want to do a render and then maybe some companies would like to work with me on uh, making it a reality. But yeah, let me pop the hood for you guys. Just a nice uh, bone stock M20 B25 for an IX. And yeah. It's just a nice daily driver, starts right up. I haven't, I added a little bit of oil to it, but honestly, I haven't really checked anything. I, haven't, I checked the coolant when I first bought it, but I haven't checked the transfer case or diff or really anything like that. I'm really bad with maintenance on this thing, actually. I really should go through and just make it all nice, but you know, we don't like to do that. We like to tinker, so um, a lot of stuff to come with this car. 
a lot of like testing stuff and new products kind of just to, to showcase and uh, it gives me uh, just a nice daily driver for the moment so yeah there's a few things i'm looking for actually i, I pretty much already ordered what i need partition partition shelf um, i'm gonna remove this thing and replace the headlights because they're very dim i could just replace the bulbs but honestly i'm not the biggest fan of smileys like everyone has them so it'd be nice to try to do something different um, so replace that i have a new switch for the rear wiper coming already ac switch is coming uh, the partition's coming uh but yeah i don't know what else to show i'd love to put it on a lift but i don't have one so i'm not gonna Asked to borrow someone else's lift. Uh, just enjoying this nice, beautiful day out here in California. Ocean's right over those mountains. So I'm excited to finally have a touring. It came sooner than I expected. I was hoping to get it, you know, like next year sometime. But when a deal pops up that you can't pass on, sometimes you just have to jump on it. And I think it will be, I think it'll be good. Um, as you can see, the front's higher than the rear, which is a little weird. Um, it did have like a full suspension redone uh, with uh, Coney's and some some springs that are probably H&R's. Not the biggest fan of uh, Coney. It's a little too soft for my liking. I like a little bit of a stiffer ride, so um, I would love to throw some coilovers on this, drop it as much as I can with you know the front axles not not uh, bending at all and keeping them nice and straight. Love to work with some companies a little bit more than I have on my personal project um, for this car. So if you have something cool that you want, you know, showcased, uh, reach out and we will make it work. I'm just gonna enjoy it until I start taking it apart, which will probably be relatively soonish. The wheels will be for sale immediately. The headlights will be for sale immediately if they're not already sold by the time this video comes up. That's going to be it for today's video. I'm going to go ahead and throw in all of the SoCal vintage stuff into this video as well. I did a terrible job filming. Um, I kind of just enjoyed the event. I had a few parts there, but more just for showcase. Walked around. I love talking to everybody. Um, and it's just the uh, best, best part about it. Uh, just meeting everyone and, and talking and sharing what we, what we love. So throw that in now. Well, I forgot to do the whole uh, cinematic thing where, you know, you show your phone in the morning and what time it is, and then you open the garage and there's the car, but uh, let's go to SoCal Vintage. Rolling in. Nice little goodie bag for the meat. Not stoked do we have some E21s parked next to me, but I was hoping to be on the front row or the the end but it happens but I tried to rev the seven and it fell Castro always has a great booth here with a bunch of cars. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, at the Mass Driver or at Rage at Parts for all your E30, E36 M3, Z3 M, E46 M3 parts needs. Coming out with a lot of custom stuff uh, here soon. Mostly still focused on E30. Once this build's done, we can move on to more chassis and start developing parts for that. But this will be a awesome build. And hopefully, I'm looking to kind of throw it together quickly, unlike my uh, IS, where, you know, that's like a parts development car at this point. Anything I do to it is either custom or, or a new product for you guys. So this, I'm hoping that I can kind of just kind of get everything done, just keep it running as, as long as possible until 
we start doing some 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 crazy stuff to it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.